Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, Destiny Marks of Greatness. Mm. Destiny, the marks of greatness. Mm. Now, the, 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 this is a very interesting take. You know, the Bible made a statement and said, you know, um, stripes were laid at the back of Jesus, and he was, he was, his back was torn to smithereens by the stripes, the, the nature of, a, of, a, of, a, of the whip that was that was placed upon his back. You know, those whips have hooks in them. And so when they when they throw the, this thing, it circles the body and then it rips the body. And so you get, it's not just uh, welts, but these are blood stained, blood gassing, you know, marks. And Jesus had to endure that. Then I'm reading it and I am, I am a little bit I, I am upset and I'm a little bit uncomfortable with the idea that someone who has done nothing, an innocent man is bearing these marks upon him. Now, in, in considering these things, then the scripture just says, says, by his stripes, we were healed. Oh, wait a minute. Those marks on the back of Jesus, anytime there's somebody who is sick, that particular sickness was placed at the back of Jesus. That those stripes, though the blood gushing out and all those things, our sicknesses and our diseases were placed there. So it wasn't a useless mark. It wasn't something, a marks of shame. It was rather marks of redemption. Even though it was painful, even though it was not a glorious thing, even though it was shameful, but guess what it is? They are marks of greatness. So anywhere you see, you see Jesus and then say, if you see the marks, if you're able to see the marks, those marks are marks of greatness. They are the marks that promoted him. They are the marks that promoted our health. They are the marks that promoted our well-being. Isn't it amazing? Those marks of pain and those marks of shame became marks for our platform and they became marks for the healing of our sicknesses and diseases. Hmm. Sometimes there are some marks you bear and those marks, if you're not very careful, you might look upon it as marks of shame. I remember a little boy walked up to his mother one day and said, Mommy, why are there all these marks? Uh, are they, all these marks on your tummy? Mommy, they are not nice. Mommy, they are not nice. And he was describing the knife marks, you know, the, the, the surgery marks on, on her tummy. And, uh, and the mother looked at him and said, They are not nice. He said, yes, yes, Mommy, it's ugly. You have to do, go to, for a plastic uh, surgery to change that thing. It's not, it's unsightly. Ah. I want my mother's stomach to be nice, like my sister's stomach. And then the mother looked at her with a smile and says, can I tell you something? So they say, those marks were because of you. As a mother, I, I didn't do it. She said, no, no, it was because of you. Because in holding you, you, th you, were, you threatened to come out before your time. And I had all sorts of complications. If they didn't do the surgery on me, you were going to die in my womb. So they had to take you out by force. So they cut me up. So the scars you see there were the doorways to your future. The marks you see there were the doorways to your future. A little boy with tears in his eyes and said, Mother, Mommy, can I kiss those marks? So you know what? There are some marks that sometimes destiny places upon you. Others may see it as marks of shame. But I can tell you that they are not marks of shame. Hey, the choices to see it as it is, is yours. See you later.